What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Go Mic Mobile Lavalier Wireless Microphone System I picked up at Best Buy for $183.99 down from $199.99. Out of five stars, this Go Mic Mobile Lavalier system gets four out of five stars out of 225 customer reviews. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. I'm pretty much gonna demonstrate all of the features that this comes with. We're gonna take a look at what comes in the box. Currently, I'm actually shooting on a Rode VideoMic Pro shotgun microphone. It was about $150, $200, I can't quite remember. It's a phenomenal microphone. It sounds great as you can probably attest to that. But one thing that I did notice is when I do turn away from the camera, say if I go into a different room or if I'm reviewing like a t-shirt or a dress shirt, for example, which all of you have pretty much seen on this channel, when I actually turn and look away from the camera, you'll actually notice that the sound drops off pretty noticeably and it doesn't come in as clear, especially when you're not shooting in a professional studio like myself. I'm shooting in an apartment complex here. Uh, one other thing that I've also noticed is it does pick up outside sounds. It does a great job of capturing my voice, but it will bring in outside sounds. And another thing is I do have to project my voice a little bit because it is just a shotgun microphone and it is relatively far away from me. That being said, I do have neighbors, so I do tend to want to be a little bit on the quieter side if I can. If I could just talk in a more normal tone uh, so that you can hear me, that would be phenomenal. But with this wireless microphone, I can get great audio quality and not have that wire in the shot. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. I'm going to show you just exactly what comes in the box and explain why having something like this is so advantageous. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So here in front of us today, we have the Samsung Go Mic Mobile. This is a professional lavalier wireless system for mobile video. And I'll go ahead and explain what makes this professional. A, what makes this professional is you don't have to record to an SD card. It will just record straight to your phone's memory or the SD card on your camera. So you'll get video and professional audio at the same time. What makes this professional is you can actually add an additional uh, transmitter and use two channel audio. So if you want to have someone else in the interview or in your video, or like if I'm presenting a product and I want to have a guest, like an expert, for example, uh, I'm pretty sure you do have to buy a Sansom uh, transmitter to work with this product. But what's also professional is it does have, have up to a 100 foot range. So if I do want to walk around the corner, for example, into my living room, or maybe walk out back and test something out at the same time as it's recording video, and I don't have to skip a beat. So that's really phenomenal. Uh, one thing I actually want to point out is on the back of the box, it does demonstrate exactly how that mobile phone mount works. And the really good news here is that they are demonstrating using the mobile phone mount on an iPhone 8 or iPhone SE, which is the smallest iPhone Apple makes. It's the 4.7 inch version. So the fact that this fits indiscriminately on the back of Apple's smallest iPhone means that it will work with most smartphones. One of the reasons I actually bought this lapel microphone is because I also want to have a backup audio source just in case this shotgun mic fails for any reason. Being able to have the shotgun mic and the lapel mic at the same time will definitely uh, just add that little bit of extra insurance and security when making these videos. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and first impressions and see what comes in the box. So one of the requirements actually when buying a lapel microphone for me was A, that I didn't have to buy an SD card to record onto and B, that it pretty much came brand new and not open box. I wanted something that was brand new because you never know what accessories are missing or who used the microphone previously. As you can see here though, you get this really nice case. It does have the Samson logo on the top. It's a really nice uh, lightweight but kind of durable case. I don't think this is water resistant but uh, it does look like it should pretty much organize everything and as you can see everything is organized as soon as you open it. there's 
specific places for everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and see just exactly what comes in the box here. And you can see uh, you get just a wall plug. It's just a USB wall plug. We'll go ahead and check out what cable that is in just a second. Uh, next in the box, we do get the transmitter here. You can see that it does have the antenna on top. It almost looks like a walkie talkie, but I just wanna quickly point out that it is a proprietary input at the top. So if you do short out your microphone or break it for any reason, you will have to replace it with a specific lapel microphone that works with this transmitter. Uh, the antenna may look just a little bit obnoxious, but uh, typically they're worn at the back of the waist. So it is pretty much out of sight. And this antenna actually ensures that it is going to work up to 100 feet, which is awesome. Uh, at the top, you do get just a simple power button to turn the lapel mic on and off. Uh, because it's just made out of this simple plastic, I would assume that this is probably pretty cheap if you wanted to either replace it or add a second channel, which you can do. Uh, there is a LED sort of light on the side here on the corner of the transmitter that will probably indicate that it's on and also indicate the battery level. Let's go ahead and see what else comes in the box. Third, what comes in the box here is our receiver itself. This is really nice because it's actually pretty nicely weighted and actually has quite a bit of functionality for, uh, you know, a lapel microphone that only cost 185 bucks. This button you actually use to turn on and off. You can see that you get a green LED indicator light here. Uh, what's really nice is you actually can just adjust between a single channel or a dual channel and a headphone channel just with the flip of a switch, which is really awesome. I think to start off, we're gonna go with a single channel, obviously. And then you can actually adjust the volume here. So just to make sure that once we get this up and running right out of the gate, we're gonna set this to maybe almost max volume. Yeah, this is actually a really nice setup. And as you can see, it just tucks away behind the phone itself. You can see that it's actually pretty flush. It does add thickness, obviously, but uh, who cares if you've got a really professional audio video setup uh, just using your iPhone, right? This is pretty awesome. You do get a micro USB to USB-C that should come in extraordinary handy. Uh, you get a micro USB to micro USB if you wanna charge it that way. And then last but not least, uh, your more traditional input is a three and a half to three and a half for basically zero latency. Uh, one thing I wanna point out about these cables is these I am afraid that they will short out over time. I've had enough experience just using aux cables in my own car that look exactly like this that after a few months just stop working. So uh, momentarily before we get into the rest of what comes in the box and get this microphone set up, one feature that I really love about this microphone is as you'll see here, this wire is actually snaked through this little plastic piece on the back of the clip that you attach to your shirt just to ensure that the wire going into the bottom of the microphone is not taut in any way. That would cause it to short circuit and uh, this, in effect, actually makes it longer lasting. So uh, many of you who use lapel microphones will probably note that as being one of the biggest Achilles heel to these microphones is the fact that this wire does eventually uh, short out and that's because it becomes taut a lot of the times, but you shouldn't really have that problem here. As you can see, it snaked through this little plastic piece and goes directly into the bottom of the microphone, which is fantastic. And last but not least, what comes in the box is a removable plug. So you'll see that this plug here is specifically designed to be used in the United States. But if you do want to take this to another country, you can definitely go online and buy an adapter to work in tandem with this wall plug. All it does is just snap right in at the top there. And then there's actually a little button you just pull up on and it releases the uh, plug itself so that you can uh, change them as you please. Okay, so here I am. I've got the lapel microphone set up. It's extremely easy to set up. Uh, there are a couple of little tools included. Uh, there are a couple of additional pieces. You can get it set up to work on a tripod, or if you want to attach the piece 
to work on your cold shoe mount on your camera, for example, you can do that too. There's also a couple of different connection options, but for this specific example, I'm actually going to connect it to my A6400 microphone port. Uh, as you'll see here, I do have it mounted to the top shoe of the A6400. One thing I wanted to point out here is you don't have to screw or unscrew anything to basically get this set up how you want. Uh, what's actually really nice is all you have to do is just, uh, this is actually like a lock here. So you turn this uh, counterclockwise from this angle and this will basically allow you to uh, attach and detach different accessories. So it did come with a hot shoe accessory and that was easily mountable by just unscrewing this little piece here and pretty much getting it set up. Uh, as you can see, you do get a pretty good idea of the battery indicator. And what's actually really nice is when you turn this on for the first time, it does connect automatically, which makes setting this up really simple. But okay, one problem I ran into was, as you'll see here, uh, you actually get both channels on the A6400. You can see if both channels are operating and they are, they're going up and down as I'm talking. You can see channel one and channel two in green there. Now, earlier I had a question, what is mix and what is two channel? So two channel means that you can choose either between the first channel or the second channel to record audio on. But what I noticed was that uh, when I had it on two channel mode, it was only recording uh, out of the left side. So when I would play it back in Final Cut Pro, for example, I was only getting sound out of my left earbud. So what I ended up doing was I just guessed, really, it was a kind of educated guess. I switched this button from two channel to mix. And as you can see, uh, I am getting great audio quality now. Uh, both channels are functioning and they're recording audio. So just to give you a good idea here, let's go ahead and switch it over to two channel here. And now that we're in two channel mode, you can see that channel one is picking up sound and channel two is flat. So, and now that I've got mix mode set back to normal, it can pretty much record both channels, which is what you'll want. So anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the Sansom Go Mic Mobile Lavalier Wireless Microphone System. I picked up at Best Buy for $183.99, down from $199.99 out of five stars. This does get four out of five out of 225 customer reviews. Uh, what's nice is this is up to 100 feet. So as you can see here, I can pretty much move away from the camera and I actually don't have to project whatsoever. I can actually just continue having a normal conversation with you guys and then I can come back into the room and back into frame. And as you can see, uh, there was no loss of audio, which is phenomenal. This was extremely easy to set up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Because I picked this up at Best Buy, that does make it a big box good. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Also, be sure to check out our merchandise store. There's some really awesome items on there. T-shirts, towels, office supplies, coffee mugs, bumper stickers, fridge magnets, all kinds of really cool stuff. If you guys are interested in these quotes, which I think are inspirational, go ahead and pick up a t-shirt. You'll also be supporting this channel. So I can get some really cool and interesting items on here and continue making these reviews and first impressions videos for you. Also, if you wanna support the channel in that way, you can also leave a comment below what you'd like to see me review in the future. I do take requests. Uh, people have reached out to me before asking me to review a pair of headphones or a pair of earbuds or I don't know anything, you know, I will definitely do it as long as it's at a reasonable price. I'm not going to go out and buy, you know, $2,000 uh, set of headphones and review them. Uh, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.